Are you ready for this? This is a lot. This is a lot. And uh, it's going to be delicious, but it's also going to be a test. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of the different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we taste every flavor of a product, you'll be alerted to it. I'm pretty sure we have every flavor here. If we don't have oh, every what? flavor, we have almost every flavor. So we're going to review ice chips. Now we have tried ice chips before. They've come in keto crates and keto boxes and we really do like them. And recently we were out in Las Vegas for the Las Vegas Keto Convention and they were there. And so we bought with our own money every flavor that they had. And then they mailed me a couple that they didn't have. Like and this oh. licorice. Yes. So we're going to try them all and we're going to do a complete five things review on them. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to try all of the flavors. This is also our way of introducing xylitol back into our life and seeing does it affect us. This is going to be like a xylitol punch in the face. You want to go over the flavors that we do have. Yes. So we have licorice. I'm actually We don't need to, to try that one. No, we're going to try it, but I want to put like what I perceive to be a strong flavor over here. Okay. Yeah. We have spearmint. Yeah, because I don't want to be like spearmint and then not taste anything else. Root beer float, which we tried this morning on the <gasps> that vlog. That was really good. Strawberry daiquiri. Okay. Cranberry, icy cranberry. I think this is the best shot for cranberry because like you always have cranberry at Thanksgiving, but like yeah. how much do you actually want? Orange cream. Okay. Pumpkin spice. Chocolate brownie. Okay. Sour apple. That one we know is good. Uh, candy peppermint. Okay, we'll put that over here because I feel like that's a strong taste. Pina colada. Yum. Winter green. Over here. Margarita. That is so fun. Nope, just margarita. Okay. Then we have clove. clove. That's over here. Menthol eucalyptus. Oh my gracious. Ginger. I don't even know what to do with ginger. And salted caramel. Okay, so this is like, I don't know, more desserty flavors. This is like mint doing a job. Okay, so since we are gonna eat a lot of ice chips, we're just gonna have a small piece out of each one. But we did measure. I, did, I should have just opened all this ahead of time, but. What is it's a me. serving? Yeah, we'll go over that in the five things. So we're gonna start off with juicy. Cranberry. Ooh, look at now, that. Now, if you're curious, this is what an ice chip looks like. It's literally just like chips of candy. So I'm trying to find like smaller Tiny, pieces. Tiny, because we're going to taste a Since we're going to try so many different ones. So there's one for you. I'm going to dink it. We're, we're going to dink every flavor. Yeah. Dink. Wow. So that is, oh my goodness. It like, tastes like cherry. It does taste like cherry, but I'm trying to put myself in cranberry. Like a mint cherry. But it tastes like cranberry juice to me. Yeah. Like. That's pretty good. Yeah. Now, one of the best ways to eat ice chips that I find is put them on your tongue and just let them dissolve. Yes, because they have like a delicious grittiness to them, if that makes sense. Like, I know that gritty is not always a texture everyone likes, but I really like the way it dissolves. Yeah. Okay, next up is gonna be salted caramel. 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 Okay, ready? There's yes. a piece for you. Let me have a little bit of a palate cleanser. Oh, palate cleanser. Okay. Dink. Dink. 
Wow. Okay. Wow. That is freaking delicious. Ready for mind blown? Butter rum lifesaver. Yes. Yes, it is. That is a butter rum lifesaver right there. That was my dad's favorite. Aww. He used to buy like, he'd buy like, you know, the multi-packs. Remember you'd get the At Christmas, Christmas boxes. The little book. He would pull those things out before us kids could get to it. Like that was his favorite flavor was the butter rum lifesaver. That is the holidays. That is amazing. That is really good. Okay. That is like Christmas holidays. We'll stack the, the, the ones in the middle. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go with strawberry daiquiri next. I'm actually really excited about this because I'm wondering if it's gonna taste like a strawberry, like the hard candy you used to always get at grandma's house that had like a little bit of a, a gush in the middle. It smells a little bit like strawberry daiquiri. Okay. There's a piece for you. Wait, I need a palate cleanse. Just get one more. That, that salted that caramel. That salted caramel is good. Dink. So this is strawberry daiquiri. This is blowing my mind on the accuracy. That is absolutely. That is good. That is a strawberry daiquiri. That is good. Like they've achieved the drink. How did they do this? How? That is really good. Wow. Now you have to be very careful with the xylitol around your animals. Like yes. This is Remember. going to go into a toolbox, into a safe area up way high. Yeah, so because xylitol is poisonous to dogs and other animals. So this one is margarita. We'll stick with the, the liquor flavors. Let's see, let's see if this is Jimmy Buffett approved. How are they achieving this? Well, that is like lime explosion. It's like the lime and the salt they put around the ring of the drink. It doesn't have like the tequila taste, but I'm Which good with fine, that. I'm right. really good with that. But it is, if you want like a lime kind of thing. That is crazy. I don't know how they're doing this. Okay, so we got one more liquor flavor and that is pina colada. Pina colada. Okay. So I'm expecting coconuts. <sighs> is it smelling Pineapple like coconut? coconut? Oh yeah, that should be a candle. That smells like a candle worthy smell. There's a piece for you. That is crazy. I don't even know which one I like the best because they're just so stinking accurate. You would just Dink. nail whatever you're in the mood for. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That is like a pina colada. It is like the very, you know how like coconut has like a milky, like coconut milk. It's nailing it. It's like, I taste the pineapple and also the coconut it's, milk. The pineapple comes out with a coconut milk undertone, but it's not overly coconutty. It's more, no. it's more a good combination. Jeez. While I have this open, I did want to show you. So we're going to get into the five things. But a serving size is two grams. They say two pieces, but the problem is, is some of the pieces look like this, and then some of the pieces look like this. Yeah. So honestly, I would your best it. bet is weigh it out or just have a piece at a time and not worry about it. I could eat a whole can in a day if you let me, which is why we generally have not ordered them. We love them, but I feel like this could be a downfall of mine. I just didn't think they'd be this accurate. I used to go through like a can of Altoids a day. I thought, Do you remember Altoids? Oh yeah. But the curiously strong mint. Um, we had tried the mint kind and I tried sour apple. And to be honest, I thought they just kind of lucked out on nailing it. The lemon is really good too. We've tried lemon in the but past. But it's this is not a fluke. They no. are nailing every, every flavor. single flavor. We're gonna go orange cream. Palette okay. cleanse. So you're expecting like an orange cream popsicle type? I'm, think, I'm thinking of a dream sickle. Does it smell? Oh my gosh. Oh it's my like gosh, essence it's of so orange. orangey. There's a piece for you. Ding. Ding. Oh my gosh. Okay, so first one that I think that the flavor, it's amazing but I don't get orange cream, I get orange. 
I can taste, you know what it tastes like? The, the no name brand orange dreamsicle. So not like yeah. the actual orange dreamsicle one, but the one that we would get that would be like Albertson's brand. Are we going to do root beer float again? I mean, we can. I'm fine with it. We did it, it on we did it on our vlog today. It, but. It's it is so stinking accurate. And you're not a root beer fan. I'm not, but well, here's the thing: it doesn't taste like it tastes like real root beer, not like there's a piece for you, not like cheap root beer, right? Like the kind we would get from when we would go visit like the Amish villages. Yeah. It is so. This wow. is Anthony's favorite. That is so real. That is crazy. Now we bought two cans of this because I knew I was going to like, I like anything root beer. And Anthony has eaten almost an entire can already. This is good. Now that I taste how accurate this is, we're going to have the kids like shop them. And this is definitely going to be stocking, stocking stuffers. I'm telling you right now. Because yeah, because it's like good for your teeth. Like it's not going to hurt your teeth. We totally would buy like something sweet for their stockings. I would much rather them have this. Yep. Chocolate brownie. Chocolate brownie. Okay. I don't know. How, I, mm, I, have, I don't really have a smell coming out of that one. No. I have faith that they can pull it off though because they nailed salted caramel. Okay. A chocolate brownie. No. You're not a fan of these candies. Here's what here's what it tastes like. Chocolate Nesco wafers. I was just about to say, I was gonna call it Neko. Is it's it Neko? Nesco. I think I don't remember. I do not like those. I know exactly what they were my what. favorite. I don't know why. I loved them. My Same grandparents mouthfeel, used to mail them to us. No. And the chocolate ones were amazing. Of course, you had the assorted roll that had licorice in it, and those would just get tossed out the window. Right. Because like black licorice, yuck. Uh, but if they you like those, like that. that's what it If you like. like a Neko wafer, Nesco wafer, whatever that name is, where it's like the little roll, that's mm. what that tastes like. Yes, it does not taste like an authentic char okay, chocolate Okay, we're gonna brownie. start getting into some of the, the this out one, there flavors. I know I like. Is there not a lemon here? We should have a lemon. Do we not have it? I know I bought lemon. There is a lemon. Lemon it is. Lemon. I know and it's lemony. I remember. Do we have not a cherry over there? There's all. Here's the other one. Cherry. cherry. Sour cherry. Sour cherry. And we Everything got wintergreen is... and lemons. Yeah. We bought doubles of ones that we were pretty sure we'd like. Yeah. Okay. I need a palate cleanse, but let's... There's a piece for you and a piece for me. So we're going sour apple. Sour apple. Because I don't remember, is it like... Tear jerker sour, or is it just it's like been a while. pleasant sour? Mmm. Granny Smith apple. Yes, it's a Granny Smith apple, a candy one. Mm. Man, that's good. Wow. Yeah, that is good. You better start thinking about what your favorites are because you're gonna take the ones. Because I'm gonna ask you. So. Man. Wow. I'm gonna start putting. Should I start putting them in? Some no, order. no, we we got that sour that the sour one is really good and that salted caramel is that's a do so not miss. This is lemon. We've had lemon before. We do a bigger piece of lemon because I like lemon. <laughs> Dink. Dink. Wow. Lights, camera, lemon. Wow. It's like a really good lemonade. Wow, that is good. That is refreshing and delicious. These ladies have nailed these flavors. I know. <laughs> I don't know how they have achieved this. By the way, they also have a toothpaste. Yes, which I have which been using. We have, and it, it is very, it's a powder. It's the one where you dip a brush in. It is like a dark color. It gives you like the hillbilly teeth that we get when we use the, the, um, the clay one from Redmond, mm -hmm. but it does taste really good, mm -hmm. and it does and polish. it's xylitol, which again is good for your teeth. It is tea. like a polish. Okay, sour cherry. I love cherry. Hmm. Whoa. Okay. So this reminds me 
of like cherry lifesavers because as much as your dad was like all in for the butter rum, I wanted the the cherry only. Like yeah. I don't need the multiple flavors of lifesavers. I only wanted the cherry. This is not as sour as the sour apple. This is like a cherry lifesaver. Yeah, it it's like not very me. sour, but it is very really, nice and really cherry. good. Okay, we're gonna get into some of the pumpkin, okay. The, the other kind of weird flavors or flavors that may be strong. Okay. Pumpkin spice. Dink. Oh my gosh, that's a pumpkin pie. That is a pumpkin pie. I hate that we're chewing them, but we got the video would be like an hour long. If, if we just let it dissolve. That is a pumpkin pie in a tin can. I didn't think I was gonna like that. That is flipping amazing, but it's an actual pumpkin pie. Okay, that is really good. But since we've already got that taste in our mouth, let's go to clove. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Cause you've already got like the nutmeg kind of oh taste gosh, in there. That is crazy. Now, one of my favorite gums. You liked clove gum. I loved clove gum. Ugh. Really good for your breath. Can you smell? Smells Ooh, like clove. It does smell like that. There you go. I was not a clove gum fan, but I like the smell. Oh my gosh. Taste that and nothing else in your life. Oh my gosh. But that will freshen your breath. Holy mackerel. If you got some stank breath, this will take care of it. <laughs> my gosh. You could eat tripe and then eat that and no one would even know that you just ate tripe. This is actually called clove plus, is it whatever like, that means. It should be called clove punch because wow. Well. Holy Most macaroni. of these only have like xylitol in the flavoring, like cream of tartar, coconut oil. This one actually has xylitol, cinnamon oil, uh, ravenizera Sheesh. oil, rosemary oil, eucalyptus oil. Holy mackerel. Uh, another kind of oil, lemon oil, cream of tartar, and clove oil. Oh my so, gosh, my tongue. That is, but that is good. My tongue feels like it went through a Tom and Jerry film. I mean, I used to chew on cloves. Stretched it out. This is like chewing on cloves. Okay, you wanna go ginger? That's gonna be another really strong one. It says real. Real ginger. Real ginger. You love ginger. I do. And I have a friend named Ginger. So when it's like, <laughs> and I always joke with her like the Jungle Cruise thing. It was like, watch out for ginger. Ginger snaps. Okay. Doesn't smell like ginger. It could smell like anything because our senses just got blown out by the clove. It's got a color of ginger though. Wow. Oh my gosh, it even has the spice. Like that is spicy, baby. Tip my tongue right now. That is spicy. It's good. I feel like- Do you like, like candied ginger? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's like in your throat, right? Mm -hmm. Whew, that just opened up all of my sinuses. <sighs> I can smell what's going on in your house. Lunch smells delicious. P. That S. is really good. You're gonna need a mouth cleanse Ooh, for that one. Mama. Oh Boy, my it's goodness. It's funny is I, I'm liking all of these flavors, but. I keep drinking my tea bag. That ginger, I mean, I'm not a huge ginger fan, but I do like candy ginger. Gosh, what is gonna be the, okay, we're down to the heavy hitters here. Winter Well, green, I figure you're gonna end with men menthol eucalyptus. Let, let's go with the disgusting flavor. <laughs> Licorice, and then see if the rest of them will like erase it. Uh, here we go. That ginger is down my throat. <laughs> Where's Blaine? Oh, wow. It's about to be Keto Camping Fear Factor, Black Licorice Edition. I'm surprised you didn't search for the tiniest one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's black licorice. I am like, oh my gosh. Right now, I just got transported back in time. I'm in my grandmother's bedroom. 
She loved black licorice. Black jelly beans. And we are right now sorting out all of the jelly beans to make sure that Nanny gets the black jelly beans. Okay, so it doesn't taste like a licorice Twizzler. It tastes like black jelly beans. It tastes like black Easter egg jelly beans. Okay. That doesn't make it right. Let's get into the good flavors because I love anything mint and menthol. Peppermint? Peppermint? So spearmint is the sweetest. Okay. I feel like peppermint, then wintergreen, then menthol, like as far as intensity, but I could be wrong. Okay, so we actually have opened up the spearmint because we weighed out a serving Let's over see here. What, what does an actual two ounces look like? Two grams. Oh, two grams. Sorry. Two Don't say, be a sorry, lot. sorry. <laughs> that would be a lot. So we have not tried this though. Wow. Like the most delicious spearmint gum. I've ever had the double mint twins just bicycled right through wow. our front round. That's like up on the top there. Wow, that's good. We're gonna go peppermint. Wow. Wow. Actually, I think wintergreen is milder than peppermint. Let's go wintergreen think so? first. What do you think? Which mint would you like? Wintergreen should be more like double mint. Did you like wintergreen, spearmint, peppermint? Menthol is like, is it gonna be like the halls? You know those old, the, yeah. the clear halls that were like, only grandpa had that. So spearmint was another one of my favorite Lifesaver flavors. Really? That, yes, so like spearmint is the sweetest of the mints. How old are you? I'm very old. I know. Dink. So I'm old enough that mints make me excited. Wow. What is that? What is that really cheap gum? Is it like extra? Fruit stripe? No. <laughs> this is abs. This is absolutely. This is a gum that like I I recognize a winter green gum. That's good too. It's very, accurate. Very close to spearmint. It's accurate. It's spearmint. Mm -hmm. I can't get this piece out of my mouth. It's spearmint with a kick. Yeah. Does that make sense? It's spearmint with I a like kick. I like spearmint better, but I always like spearmint better. Yeah. I felt like spearmint is better than wintergreen, but I feel like there was a blue gum that had wintergreen flavor and it tastes exactly like that. Peppermint, which they re like, they have like a candy cane kind of look now too. It's just like a candy cane supposedly, um, but it's whether you get a peppermint one or a candy cane colored one. Mm -hmm. I don't, Smell anything. Nothing. Oh my gosh. It is. It's a candy cane. It's a candy cane. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. And it freshens your breath. Like Merry I've got Christmas. That one little piece, that's a good breath freshener. Wow. Okay. All right, last but not least, we should have ended on salted caramel. Man, I feel like refreshed. Oh, you want That's that like piece? a glacier. <laughs> Let's do a big piece in this one. What? Okay, wait. I need a. I need a. I need a mouth cleanse. I have a feeling like you're not gonna be able to taste stuff for like a week after this one. Dink. Oh my gosh. Honey. Halls. 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 Like, I'm sure my breath is visible. The sinuses are clearing out right now. <sighs> yeah, but it's got that, it's the honey one. It's the clear halls that's got like a honey drop look to it. That is absolutely halls. That is crazy. <laughs> That is crazy! So you wanna do five things? Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients, does it keto based on a nutrition label, how does it taste, how much does it cost, and finally, would we recommend it? Number one. So number one, the ingredients. I am not gonna go over every single flavor, but pretty much, the number one ingredient in every one of them is xylitol. Right. And then it is less than 2% of the flavoring. For example, spearmint is spearmint, spearmint oil, and then cream of tartar and calcium stearate. Uh, peppermint is peppermint oil, 
pumpkin spice is natural xylitol, cream of tartar, coconut oil, cinnamon. So, and natural flavors. I gotta so tell you this. They're all pretty much xylitol and a little bit of flavoring. So what do you think would make up menthol and eucalyptus? Eucalyptus oil, grapefruit oil. I would oh, not, wow. cream of tartar yeah. and menthol. Well, the cream of tartar is, I'm sure they're using it. First of all, there's potassium in there, but they're helping it to stabilize when they're doing everything. It's so crazy. So like, yeah, so chocolate brownie is cocoa and it's got coconut oil. But again, it's like they're able to make different flavors. Like I would not um, immediately think that it would be coconut oil and right. cocoa. Like cherry is xylitol, malic acid, citric acid, cream of tartar, natural flavors, coconut oil, and then calcium, uh, what is it, stirate. So ingredients overall are very good. I know there's nothing really natural about natural flavors, but it's a very small amount. It's primarily xylitol so so long as you're okay with xylitol and you keep it away from your pets right they have very good ingredients when it comes to keto so number two does it keto based on the nutrition label so a serving size is they're saying two pieces but it's really two ounces so let's let everybody okay. see how so much is two ounces we did look like. pull out our scale over here which you are not going to be able to see we're going to move the keyboard and we have it zeroed out and it looks like this is about two grams. Yeah, so that's more than so two So that's pieces. more than two pieces. And those are pretty big pieces. So if you go with these two pieces, this one is registering like right at two. So this is like probably a half or yeah. something like that. But overall, these bigger pieces, that's where you're looking at too. If you're looking at just these little pieces, and especially when you get into like the clove flavor and stuff, you don't need more than this little piece. No. So the calories are five what calories. What flavor was this? Spearmint, right? Spearmint. Five calories, uh, no sodium, no fat, um, no protein, two total carbs, but they're both of them are sugar alcohol. Because right. it's just the xylitol. So, so zero, zero net, net carbs. carbs. And as you know, we always say if you're going to deduct something, I would personally deduct sugar alcohols, depending on the sugar alcohol, this being one of them over deducting fibers, unless it's certain kind of fibers, like acacia fiber. When you start seeing a lot of added fibers in the products, I don't deduct those. I'm okay with deducting sugar alcohols. But again, put a total carb cap. Like right. say like, hey, I'm gonna have 20 net carbs where I take out the sugar alcohols, but I'm gonna do no more than 30 total carbs. This way you don't need an entire can in a day. Right. You're putting some kind of a limit. So you go like, hey, I don't wanna eat 50 total carbs of you know, xylitol. xylitol every single day. Yeah. Number three, how do they taste? Accurate. Every flavor is amazing. Totally accurate. Even black licorice. It's. I don't like black point. licorice, but I have to say they nailed the taste right back to my childhood memories of hating black jelly beans. The only one I honestly truly did not like care for was this chocolate brownie, but that's because it tastes exactly like that one candy, right. Necco wafers or whatever, that I never liked. Right. It's true to that flavor, and like Anthony will love this, because he loved those things. So will John. I would say that this is probably the most muted flavor out of them all. It's there, right. but it's not a punch you in the face flavor like a lot of the others. Here's the challenge for you. Top three. Okay, salted caramel is in the running, yo. Okay. That one is delicious. If I'm reaching for a mint, I'm probably going to do a spearmint. Okay. And I gotta say, I really liked sour cherry because it is, um, because it reminds me of red lifesavers, but the pumpkin spice was also so surprising okay, to me. Okay, well, those are your top three right there? I don't know. I don't want to have to decide. Strawberry daiquiri was really good, too. And so was sour apple. Okay. I can definitely give you two. I can definitely say this is number one to me. We said top three. And this is my favorite mint. Okay. So as much as I like the spearmint, after tasting it, this peppermint is amazing. Okay. That's like a hard like battle back and forth. I feel like you have to either be in the mood for a candy cane or be in the mood for spearmint. But right. if you want a candy cane, 
That's this one. So I'm gonna go with spearmint. Uh, I'm gonna go with lemon. It is very lemony. And then, oh my gosh, so difficult here. I was surprised how much I liked cranberry. Too. Salted caramel was really good. Sour apple. I think I'm gonna go cherry. It's yeah, good. The, the cherry. Yeah. I I don't even know if I can put these in order. I I mean, they're all good. It will they're depends on good. what you're in the mood for. I am not for. gonna other than black licorice. I would eat black licorice again if for only to remember my grandmother. Well, I was just gonna say other than black licorice. Oh, by the way, and a good runner up. By the way, is clove. Like if you like clove, for it is me, intense. It, it is an intense flavor. Wear your seatbelt. It will definitely freshen your breath and you and your neighbors. <laughs> uh, but clove is a definite runner up. Honestly, what I was gonna say though, ginger is spicy too. I am not gonna regret having any of these other than black licorice. Like <laughs> I will eventually finish all of these off yeah. with Rachel and the kids' help, of course, but. I, it's not like there's not a flavor like, ew, throw that one in the garbage right. and, and we wasted our money. No. Speaking of which, let's talk about number four. How much do they cost? So I've got their website over here. And basically, you buy it in a bot in a pack of a six pack of these tins. They do sell them in the little one ounce packages. I wouldn't bother with that. It's it's like a tease anyway, and it costs more money. <laughs> Buy them in the tin. That's what you get inside of like the keto crate or the keto box if they go in there. Yeah. And so you basically, you can buy a three pack, a six pack, a 12 pack, or a 24 pack. Um, so the three pack is $17.75 for three. Six pack is $33.95. The 12 pack is 66.20, so you're not really saving, I think you're saving like 70 cents there, 65 cents. And the 24 pack is $125. Now here's the cool part, with the six packs, you can mix and match flavors. Which you can buy a six pack of just a flavor, or you can mix and match however you want. And they have different things that they've already bundled if that's what you want. So like they have a what they call a therapeutic bundle and that's gonna have like your halls wanna be in there. And then they have like a party pack, a holiday pack. So that's gonna have like your pumpkin spice and your peppermint, that sort of thing. Now they also have an earth friendly packaging resealable refill. So that you can basically find a flavor you like, save your tin and refill them and you get five ounces for $13. So that's close to each one of these is like 1.76 ounces. So that's basically three tins for $13. So that's right. a significant, I didn't even know about that till we were just looking on the website, but that's a significant savings because you're talking about if you bought three cans, that'd be like 16, $17. And here you can refill them for about three bucks less if you have a flavor that you really love. But I think this is fun as like a gift. Like I would definitely buy the tin first and then refill it. Oh, they have a couple of the flavors on here that. Oh, we didn't have this. We like don't a have berry a berry mix. mix. Uh, we, we didn't try cinnamon. And it looks like those are the only flavors that we have not tried. I'm just looking to see if there's any other flavors. The candy cane is the peppermint. It's just a different pack. And when we interviewed them in Vegas, um, they were like, we are not making any n new flavors. Yeah. yeah. Plenty of flavors. Yep. Find now, something you like. When it comes to price, they do not generally do coupon codes. Right. So they said what they do is instead they offer free shipping, which I love. They also have a deal when you go and sign up on their website. If you sign up on their mailing list, you can get a 5%. I think it's a one time off coupon, uh, but that's another little savings. Yeah. We do have a link down below if you want to purchase it. Also, this video will be out before it is over, but if you're seeing this right around Thanksgiving, uh, they're having a Black Friday sale with the code, I believe it's THANKS. Again, I'll put it here across the bottom of the screen, and it's 15% off. Which is a big deal because they don't really, unless you get them at a show, they don't really have like extra percent off. So. Yeah, and even the show price was just a couple of dollars off. So that this is, is a, a really, really good sale. So number five, would we recommend these? Yes. I'm gonna recommend them with two precautions. Number one. The animals. Make sure you're being careful with your animals. If you have animals, 
Xylitol is deadly to animals, especially dogs, especially small dogs. Yeah. Uh, and it doesn't take much xylitol to give them xylitol poisoning. So please make sure you're keeping them away from your animals, up out of reach. We keep them up on cabinets or up on high Way shelves. High. Even where our 110 pound horse named Tabitha can't get them. <laughs> yeah, do what you gotta do. Number two. Um, they're not sweet. I mean, they're sweet, but they're not sweet. It's not like eating a piece of chocolate, but they're so delicious. It would be really easy to eat an entire can in a day. They're very accurate. But here's the thing where I, I would recommend them. I want a slice of pumpkin pie as I remember it. All right. Mm -hmm. Really what I want is the first taste of pumpkin pie. That's right. Right? I don't even need the entire pie. There's a lot of times where I get halfway through and I only finish a, a slice of dessert because I started it. Right. So I feel like this is a better way to get accuracy. Like mm -hmm. I want a, a pumpkin pie taste. One little, I feel like one little ice chip will really do it. Yeah. It will take the edge off of it. I can definitely see myself keeping a lot of the menthol flavors and the mint flavors around because again, I was somebody who was way into Altoids. Yeah. And it's just like those only, it's clean ingredients. You know, a lot of the things you're going to see in the supermarkets, even if they are sugar free. Right. It's usually like sorbitol or maltitol as their sweetener, which is horrible for you and they're adding lots of chemicals here you're looking at xylitol and then some flavoring and they're much healthier ingredients i like the fact that they're not going to affect me in ketosis and i just like overall all of the flavors so let us know down in the comment section have you tried ice chips and if you have what is your favorite flavor now if you like seeing videos like this take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there also make sure you take a look at our most recent video which i'm going to put right over here but whether you head this way or you head this way don't forget to head this way subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we taste an entire product line you'll be alerted to it till next time bye, bye.